Welcome to this week's edition of Tops of High TV. I'm Harris Stottlemyre. And I'm Walt Grimes. This week we have the Battle of the Bands right around the corner, cap and gowns handed out to seniors, and the Relay for Life taking place at our school. But first, after months of preparation, the curtain finally raised on this year's school play. Here's Marshall Hale with our top story. The bad storms of last week couldn't stop opening night for the little shop of ours, but it did create a short delay. After waiting an extra night to start, the actors took to the stage in front of a packed house. The audience was treated to songs, dancing, and outstanding acting from the cast. The play was a remake of the movie from back in 1986. It tells the story of a lonely flower shop worker who creates a mysterious plant. The plan ends up causing all sorts of problems for him, his co-workers, and others along Skid Row. The storms postponed Thursday night's performance and made it a Saturday matinee, but that didn't damper the excitement any. From all of us at Topsail High TV, congrats to Miss Melton, the cast, and the band, and everyone else involved with this year's show. For Topsail High TV, I'm Marshall Hill. Thanks, Marshall. Topsail High School was a busy place Friday night as it was opening night for the play and also the beginning for the Relay Real Life event. Hundreds of people took to the track to raise money for cancer research. Friday night's festivity started with a survivor's walk where those who have suffered with cancer took a lap. The event started that night and went around the clock into Saturday. Top so high teachers and students each fill, filled a team to help raise as much money as possible for this worthy cause. Some students got a sneak peek at a class that will be here at the school next year. Members of the Cape Fear Community College Carpentry Department dropped by the campus to prepare for next year's construction management class. Students got a hands-on lesson of some of the skills that will be taught during this semester. They used power tools while working on a, on a small project in the courtyard. If you're interested in learning more about this class or any of the CFCC Huskins classes that are available to Topsail students, check in with Ms. France. It was election day at Topsail last week and the candidates had one last chance to round up support to get votes. In addition to the posters hung throughout the school, candidates got to speak directly to their classmates at the rally on Friday. Each person running for office had a few minutes to say what they should be elected. The vote was taken immediately following the event, and the results are in. Alicia McKay, the student body president, with Jared Bradley, Jacob Lewis, and Devin Lewis, the president of their respective classes. Two Topsail students are headed to the HOSA National Conference, and you can help them get there. The club is holding a fundraiser at Zachby's on Gordon Road on May, May 4th. If you eat there between 5.30 and 8.30, 15% of your purchase will help Patrice Reedy and Jared Bradley pay for their trip to the event of Anaheim, California. You can also purchase a Frank card from Miss Wells to help with the cost of the trip. These cards can give you discounts at many places in our area. And now, here's a quick word about the Battle of the Bands. Good evening, America. It's me, your El Presidente. Now, on May 12th, we're going to be having a Battle of the Bands competition in the Topsail High School Auditorium. It's going to cost the people $5 to get in the door. The bands are going to have to pay $10 to play. But as a reward, the winner, whoever is the best band, will get $100 cash. The money from this great, great fundraiser will go to our Darfurian refugee camp where we can buy protractors and pencils. Seniors are one step closer to graduation after picking up their cap and gowns this past week. Representatives from Johnson's were on hand to give out the clothes. Every senior should have one by now, but if you don't, check with Ms. St. John in the guidance office. Graduation takes place June 10th at UNCW. That wraps up this week's edition of Tops High TV. Before we leave, congrats to Ms. Melton for being named the Topsail High Teacher of the Week. Ms. Melton is the drama teacher at Topsail and just finished up with our performance, The Little Shop of Horrors. Have a great week, everyone. Get out and support the Pirate Sports team during the last week of the regular season. And we'll see you right back here next time at Topsail High TV.